now we are moving into the the definition of probability definition of probability it's a very important definition because the probability theory goes with the, the definition of probability let omega be a sample space let f capital f be a sigma field a sigma field over omega a real valued set function that is p defined on f satisfying the first condition that is uh, p of a greater than or equal to 0 for all a belonging to f the first condition is p of a greater than or equal to 0 for all a belonging to f the second condition p of omega is 1 third condition if a 1 a 2 and so on are mutually disjoint events i have not said what is the meaning of events i will discuss event uh, later mutually disjoint events in f then the p of union of a i's over i that is same as summation p of a i's over i basically a real valued set function p defined on f satisfying these three conditions that is called a probability called a probability. The triplet that is a omega f capital P that is called a, a probability space. this definition is a uh, very important we have a random experiment you know what is the meaning of random experiment that means uh, it is an experiment in which uh, the results are uh, not known in advance if you collect the all possible outcomes of a random experiment that collection all possible outcomes that collection is going to be called as a sample space that is omega from omega it is a non empty set obviously For, from there we created the sigma field. So, you create a sigma field one sigma field it could be trivial or non trivial you create a sigma field over a non empty set omega. Now, we are going to create a set function that is a real valued function that means it is mapping from f to or the p function is a set function from f to r f is a sigma field which consisting of a subsets of omega satisfying the three conditions of the sigma field therefore the elements of f that is nothing but the subsets of omega 
subsets since it is a subsets of omega that is called events. So, here the a when I make the first uh, satisfying the condition p of a greater than or equal to 0 for all a belonging to f. So, each element of uh, f uh, that is called event because uh, that is a subsets of omega. That means, a uh, few collection of uh, possible outcomes that is going to be the event. Even a single element is also single possible uh, outcome or uh, any possible uh, result or each sample that is also called the event or subsets of uh, possible outcomes uh, that is also going to be called it as an event. So, here the element of f is uh, called a event whereas, uh, element of uh, omega that is called samples. Repeating again the elements of uh, omega that is called samples element of uh, f is called event we are defining the set function p on f which is a real valued function therefore, it is a mapping from f to r satisfying the three conditions. See the first condition p of a is greater than or equal to 0 that means, uh, it is a real valued function and it is greater than or equal to 0 therefore, uh, the values are uh, possible values of uh, range of p is going to be from 0 to infinity from the first condition. But if you see the second condition p of omega is equal to 1. If you recall uh, f consisting of element starting from empty set singleton element and all the possible elements and so on finally, you have a omega. The p of omega is equal to 1 makes uh, the real valued uh, set function defined from f to r which has the range from 0 to 1. It is a real valued function that means, it could be minus infinity to infinity. Since, the p of a is equal to greater than or equal to 0 that restrict from 0 to infinity. The second condition p of omega that is equal to 1 that makes uh, lies between 0 to 1. Therefore, this uh, domain is f range of p is between 0 to 1 closed interval. It can start from 0, it land up 1. Therefore, it is a lies between 0 to 1. Now, we will come to the third condition. Though f consisting of uh, many elements starting from empty set with the many elements, the last element is omega. So, if you take mutually disjoint events, what is the meaning of mutually disjoint? If you take uh, any two elements, if you go for intersection, that is going to be the empty set. That is called a mutually disjoint event. If you take any two elements in the F, make an intersection, that is going to be the empty set. So, if you take such a events, mutually disjoint events, it could be finite elements or countably infinite elements. If you take those elements, and you verify p of union of a i c make a union of those elements that is also belonging to f because of the sigma field. And the right hand side if you make a summation of p of a i c if both the values are going to be same if this condition is satisfied by by taking any mutually disjoint events in the f then you can conclude the set function p which has a domain f range is 0 to 1 that real valued function we call it as a probability. That is a probability it is very important because the omega be a sample space for a random experiment whereas, you can have a more than one sigma field on the same omega. For a fixed f, we are creating a set function that is a one set function satisfying these three conditions therefore, it is a, a probability. That means, uh, we can always uh, create uh, some other set function on the same omega and f, it may satisfy all the three conditions then we can have uh, another probability for the same omega and f. 
so many more probability can be defined by satisfying that these three conditions for us fixed omega and f therefore this triplet the omega the fixed f and the fixed p this triplet is called the a probability space because you can have a many probability for a same omega and f therefore you can have a many probability space can be created for the same random experiment that is a very important concept in probability whenever we come across uh, whenever we make a real world problem using a probability theory and we are trying to solve it we should have a one probability space to solve that problem so that probability space comes from collection of all possible outcomes for a fixed f then for a fixed p you can have a different f you can have a different p therefore you will have a different probability space that means uh, the same problem can be solved in a different probability space that is going to be a very important topic in a stochastic calculus or in financial mathematics people will solve the problem in a different probability space therefore uh, their results are going to be different based on a different probability space so here we have a omega and a fixed f a fixed p therefore it's a one probability space there is a one more observation since the p is a set function satisfying the first condition and the third condition therefore this p is called a measure you can always define a measure on a non empty set with the sigma field we we should have a non empty set omega and you create a sigma field on a non empty set then you can define a measure satisfying the first condition and the third condition then that is going to be called it as a measure any set function satisfying the first condition and the third condition is going to be called it as a measure and here the p is going to be a measure because it satisfies it coincides the definition of measure therefore the probability the word p is a probability we say the p is a measure also not only that by seeing the second condition it is a additional condition while seeing the concept of measure it has the value it cannot cross more than one therefore it is called a normed measure whenever the measure has a finite value then it is called a normed measure so here the finite value is 1 therefore it is a special case of measure which is a normed measure so the probability is a measure probability is a normed measure because of the second condition we are going to see different probability for the different omega and f as a examples as a first example we'll take the easiest example that is a omega consisting of h tail h or t f we'll go for the largest one that is empty set singleton element and the whole set i have to create a function a set function p such that it satisfies the all the three conditions of the probability then i can conclude that set function is a probability define p of a such that uh, when a is going to be a empty set i am going to make it a zero and when a is going to be h i am going for uh, 1 by 5 when a is going to be tail it is going to be 4 by 5 when a is going to be 
whole set what you can uh, verify whether uh, all the three conditions of uh, probability definition satisfies it's always greater than or equal to 0 that is satisfied for all elements a belonging to f that's the first condition second condition p of uh, omega is equal to 1 that is satisfied if i take a mutually exclusive events in f then the union of uh, events then uh, finding the p p over the events that is same as the summation of p of e a s suppose i take the element uh, h and uh, tail so if make a union so that union is going to be omega and p of omega is 1 in the right hand side if I take a p of h that is 1 by 5 p of tail that is 4 by 5 if I make addition that is going to be 1 not only this if I take any two elements if I make a union that is going to be same as p of union is same as the sum of p of a is for any two or three or any collection of mutually exclusive events it satisfies so since it satisfies all the three conditions p is a probability now we can think of is there any other function also satisfies the same three conditions therefore we will have a one more probability so here this omega f p that is a probability so let me go for uh, making a notation called uh, suffix 1 that means uh, p 1 is a probability therefore uh, omega e f p 1 is a probability space by seeing these numbers we can think of uh, we can change the numbers still you can have a probability that is uh, I will go for immediately p 2 of a that is going to take the value 0, 2 by 5, 3 by 5, 1. The same way, a is equal to h, a is equal to tail, a is equal to 1. That means uh, this is also satisfying the probability conditions. Therefore, uh, this is also probability space. Is there only these two? We can uh, go for uh, many combination in which uh, I can go for uh, p of a such that it takes a value 0 with some q 1 minus q and 1 where q is lies between so this is for a is equal to empty set and a is equal to h a is equal to tail and a is equal to omega where q is open interval 0 to 1 where q is a open interval 0 to 1 that means uh, I can have a many probability therefore I can have a many probability space for this example whatever we discuss in the elementary level we always go for a fair coin or unbiased coin in that case the probability of uh, getting a head or probability of getting tail or p of uh, a when a is equal to h or a is equal to tail these values are going to be 1 by 2 and 1 by 2 then it is a uh, corresponding to the random experiment of uh, tossing a fair coin or unbiased coin so whatever we discuss in the school days or the elementary level having a probability 1 by 2 1 by 2 that is a one of the probability space which we have discussed but in general if the coin is not fair or bias coin we can have a many more probability space for the same example for a by going for a different p and one more observation by different f also we can have a different piece then we can go for different probability space i have fixed a f here 
I am going for different P, but you can change the sigma field, then also you will have a different P satisfying the condition, therefore you will have a different probability space. I forgot to mention this definition is called the axiomatic definition of probability. This definition is called the axiomatic definition of probability. This is developed by the probabilistic person named Kolmo Crow. It's a Russian mathematician who contributed quite a lot for probability theory. Therefore, this definition is called a Kolmo Grove axiomatic definition of probability. And this definition is valid for whatever be the situation you have for a random experiment, this definition is valid. Whereas, there is a classical definition of probability which is a special case of uh, axiomatic definition of probability that we are going to discuss after a few more examples. This axiomatic definition of probability does not have any assumptions on a random experiment on omega and df and so on. Whereas, the classical definition of probability which has uh, some assumptions with that we will go for the easiest definition of probability that is a classical one, whereas this one does not have any assumptions. Therefore, this is a in general it is true for any sort of situations where we are going to apply the probability. So, this is a very important definition called axiomatic definition of probability. These three axioms are called the Kolmogorov axioms. These three axioms or conditions are called the Kolmogorov axioms and the definition called the axiomatic definition of probability. So, this is the easiest example in which I have introduced many probability. Therefore, we get the many probability space for a simple example itself. When it is a fair coin, then the P of A is going to be 0, 1 by 2, 1 by 2, 1 for this elements empty set H tail and O. Now, we will go for the second example in which we will have a omega consisting of a countably infinite elements. So, omega is going to have a 0, 1, 2 and so on countably infinite elements. F is a the largest sigma field on or over omega. I am not going to list out uh, the elements. That means, it started with the empty set and all single linear elements, any two elements, any three elements and so on. So, that is the largest sigma field on omega. Now, we are going to define P of uh, singleton element of samples in the omega itself that is going to be 1 divided by 2 power w plus 1 where w is belonging to omega even though the set function is defined from f 2 0 to 1 I am defining for this each singleton element in the omega. Therefore, uh, any element in the f is nothing but the subsets of omega that is a union of a few elements of the omega that is going to be the element of f. Therefore, the same set function can be defined it for the p of a where a is a subsets of f. So, this is going to be 1 divided by 2 power w plus 1. Let us have an example. Suppose w is equal to 0, then the p of 0 is 1 divided by 2 power 1, 1 by 2. Suppose w is equal to 1, then p of 1 is 1 divided by 2 power 2. 
that is a 1 by 4. Suppose that w is going to be 3, then it is going to be 1 divided by 2 power 4. We can verify whether uh, this is going to satisfy all the three axioms of uh, axiomatic definition of probability. So, the first condition is going to be greater than or equal to 0. So, whatever be the element of w belonging to omega, this value 1 divided by 2 power w plus 1 that is going to be greater than or equal to 0 and uh, p of omega, we can verify the second condition, p of omega that is going to be same as uh, summation of p of uh, singleton elements of uh, w's where w is equal to 0 to infinity that is same as p of omega because p of omega is nothing but the union of uh, all the elements that is same as summation of w is equal to 0 to infinity 1 divided by 2 power w plus 1. So, the first element is 1 by 2, second element is uh, 1 by 4, third element is 1 by 8 and so on. If you add all the elements, it is going to be 1. If you take uh, any disjoint, uh, mutually disjoint events, nothing but uh, disjoint uh, samples and find out the p of union, that is same as uh, summation of uh, p of singleton elements. That is the same concept I used it in uh, finding the p of omega also. I have used uh, the p of omega is nothing but the summation of p of individual element I am using the third property. So, third property also satisfied. So, all the three properties are satisfied, all the three conditions or all the axioms are satisfied. Therefore, the p is going to be a probabilities. Therefore, omega e f and the capital P is a probability space. Again, the way I define the P of omega is equal to 1 divided by 2 power w plus 1, someone can uh, think uh, why it has to be this number, can I choose some other number, so that uh, I can have all the three conditions are satisfied. Yes, you can always uh, create uh, another real valued function so that all the three conditions satisfied, we can have a probability. So, I have just created a easiest one that is 1 divided by 2 power w i plus w plus 1, because I know that the summation of uh, this is going to be a convergence series, that summation is going to be 1, therefore, I have created a probability over this. We will go for the third example that is uh, omega consisting of uh, uncountably many elements that is uh, 0 to infinity. So, the sigma field uh, that is a uh, Borel, Borel sigma field uh, on the real line which intersect uh, 0 to infinity correct creating a uh, Borel sigma field on a real line intersecting with a 0 to infinity that is going to be the largest sigma field on omega where omega is a 0 to infinity. I am going to define a set function p such that this is going to be the probability. The easiest one that is a integration over a e power minus x dx, where a is belonging to f, a is belonging to f. The f consisting of a singleton element, sorry empty set, singleton element and uh, many intervals between 0 to infinity, which is uh, in the same form of Borel sigma field on real line. Therefore, the integration uh, over a that is a Riemann integral, you know that uh, if uh, a is going to be a singleton element that is going to be 0, 
if A is going to be a closed interval or open interval, because it is a Riemann integral, the answer is going to be integration over that interval e power minus x dx. So, always the first condition is going to be satisfied that is p of a is always going to be greater than or equal to 0. The second condition we can verify p of omega that is nothing but integration over omega e power minus x dx that is nothing but x y e power minus x. So, it start from 1 it start from 1. So, this is a e power minus x integration over omega omega is from 0 to infinity. So, 0 to infinity e power minus x dx is nothing but area below the curve e power minus x between the interval 0 to infinity. It is asymptotically 0 at infinity. So, if you find the area that is going to be 1. The third condition if you take a mutually disjoint events in f that is nothing but uh, if you take a non overlapping intervals and find the area in those intervals and find out the interval separately and sum it up both are going to be same. Whether you go for a union of a non overlapping intervals find out the p or finding out individually and sum it up both are going to be same for any mutually disjoint events that is nothing but the intervals. So, the third condition also satisfied therefore, we can conclude uh, this p is going to be a probability. We can have a many more uh, p for the same omega and f. Uh, so, this is the easiest one omega f and p that is a probability space. With these three examples, one is with the finite, other one with the countably infinite elements and the third one with uncountably many elements of omega, we have created a different function p and we got the probability space.